With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, if in Bohr's atomic model, it is assumed that force between the electron and proton varies inversely as R power 4 energy of the system will be proportional to. You can say here the electron orbiting in radius R with velocity V around a proton of charge ZE. Here we can see the necessary centripetal force is provided by this force which varies inversely as R power we can say as 4. So here this proportionality constant is suppose some B. So this comes as B divided by R power 4. So we can see here that the centripetal force is provided by this force. So centripetal force as we know is equal to mv square by r is equal to this force here is given as b divided by r power 4. So we have the relation as mv square is equal to we can say as b divided by r power 3. Now we know according to Bohr's third postulate angular momentum of this electron shall remain conserved which is equal to integral multiple of h divided by 2 pi hence mvr equal to nh by 2 pi now here on squaring both sides this comes as m square v square r square is equal to we have here as n square h square divided by we have here as 4 pi square now using this relation where mv square is equal to b by r cube so we have here m into mv square here is b divided by r cube into we have here as r square is equal to we can say as n square into h square divided by we have here as 4 pi square. So we can see here value of r comes out to be our let's say on cross multiplication value of r comes to be our m into b into we have here as 4 pi square divided by in the denominator we have here as n square into h square. So here substituting the value of r here we can see here value of mv square becomes our b divided by r cube. So here this comes as m cube into b cube into this here is 64 pi raised to power we can say as let's say 6 into this here is n power 6 into h raised to power 6. So here we know the kinetic energy is let's say given as half mv square. So the energy of this electron let's say half mv square comes as let's say our n power 6 into here this is some constant that is h power 6 into let's say here this becomes our in the denominator as let's say 128 into b square into m cube into pi raised to power 6. We just need to find the proportionality so energy of the system proportional to we can say as n raised to power 6 that is our option number 3 is the correct answer n power 6 hence we can say here 3 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today